Based on what you've seen so far, how confident are you that Team USA can at least reach the gold medal game? I'm very confident, Matt. Reasons why I think defensively they're locked in. They can get stops when they need to get stops. And you saw that in the Brazil game. You've seen it in all the games. When it comes down to a half court, a last possession, they can get it done. And I think they're confident with that and their versatility on defense. And I think offensively they're sharing the basketball. You can see they're playing unselfish. The two areas I'm really concerned about is inside scoring because mm -hmm. of the lack of height, but then also turnovers and free throw percentage. And I think those were due because of the tiredness, the tired legs, and like, he, like Coach K say, traveling around with these days off and days rest, I think they'll get their legs back, the turnovers will go down, and also the free throw percentage should go up. Now, they're the most talented team in the tournament. Everyone agrees on that, but the draw may not play out in their favor. Look at what could be in their bracket once the round of 16 begins. This is the way things stand at this moment. Things could change with Thursday's results, but look at the FIBA rankings of some of the teams on their <laughs> side of the round of 16. They're number two in the FIBA world rankings. Spain, Greece, and Serbia, Lithuania, that's three, four, five, and six are all there as well. And of course, Brazil, which gave them fits on Monday. Something to consider. First things first, one game left in the group portion of play. That's the U.S. against Tunisia. Quick scouting report on Tunisia, Smitty. Uh, Thank you. Thursday okay. morning on ESPN2, 9.30, you'll see the tip, 9.30 Eastern time. Thanks for that.